Um, we have a truth talk this morning, and now I'm ready to give it. <laughs> so, um, in keeping with this Advent thing, um, we are on the topic of peace today. Um, so the question we ask is, what does the Bible say about peace? Um, just a quick couple of definitions that come um, from biblical peace. It is a state of can be a state of national tranquility. It is an exemption from the rage and havoc of war, peace between individuals, harmony, security, safety, prosperity. And of course, of the Messiah's peace, it is the way that leads to peace, which is salvation. For Christians, it is the tranquil state of a soul assured of its salvation through Christ. And so fearing nothing from God and content with its earthly lot, What's, whatever that is, which harkens back to what Pastor had preached about um, last week. So a couple of things about peace and just what, what it means to us. Number one, peace is from God. Second Thessalonians 3.16 says, May the Lord of peace himself give you peace always in every way. The Lord be with all of you. He is, speaking of the names of God, he is the Lord of peace. Number two, we find peace through Christ. Isaiah 9, 6 says, May the Lord... I put my notes wrong. Um, Isaiah 9, 6 is the one that says he will be called the Prince of Peace, the one who comes to us. Um, that is wild. All right. Number three, <laughs> um, peace is an absence of war which is only found through a peace offering. We were obviously at war with Christ, or at war with God before he made peace for us. Um, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Number four, peace is something we actively pursue. Romans 8, 6, and 7 says, Now the mindset of the flesh is death, but the mindset of the spirit is life and peace. The mindset of the flesh is hostile to God because it does not submit to God's law. So it is an active choice to submit ourselves to God and find peace in that. Um, in Galatians 5.22 says, The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Number five, we are called to carry and establish peace wherever we go as heralds of the gospel. Uh, Romans 14, 19 says, Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Number six, peace is not conditional. Uh, Romans twelve eighteen says, Let us pursue what promotes peace and what builds up one another. Um, and the last thing is that Paul put such a significant emphasis on peace, he opened virtually all of his letters with saying, he says, grace and peace be ministered unto you. Um, Paul made it a very pointed thing that he always spoke peace over people. And it is vitally important that we embrace peace with God, because to do otherwise is a rejection of the entire gospel.